all. Today we're going to do an unboxing of Julius Caesar. Caesar, Pompey, and the Roman Civil War, 49 to 45 BC. This is from Columbia Games, and this is part of their block war games series. Uh, not all of them have the exact same kind of elements or, or maps. Some are point to point, some are uh, area, some are hex. This one is a point to point one covering the span of the Roman Civil War. Um, let's take a look at the back of the box here. And as you can see, you can see the the uh, map, the point to point, you see the blocks, and we'll show those when we get in there. You have to sticker them. And then you have cards. Uh, the cards, it, this is somewhat of a uh, card-driven game in that the cards uh, allow you to you know, have give you a certain number of actions that you can move your forces uh, forward and then then have combat. Uh, this is towards the end of my uh, acquisition of games from the Consum World Support Drive for 2021, uh, where they gave out uh, discounts or direct discounts, and uh, this was the one I used for uh, Columbia Games. I only have a few of those left, and. Uh, uh, my wallet is not happy, but uh, but my shelves are. Anyway, let's take a look inside here and see what we got here. Uh, this is typical of Columbia Games. They come with a you know with a box that doesn't have any artwork on it, but there's a sleeve. So let's take a look at the sleeve off here. And so there's your art, which is just a sleeve, as you can see there. But the goodies are inside a very nondescript box. So you can crack that open there. And you get blocks and dice are in there. So you got blocks in two different colors. One for Caesar's factions and one for Pompey's factions. Blue block in there as well. You get cards. Crack that open here. You get a map. And it's uh, it's not mounted, but it's not you know paper. It's a kind of an in between. It's kind of a poster board type uh, material. We'll get we'll get that open here in a second. Move this stuff out of the way here. And you get stickers. You need to sticker the blocks. So these are going to be the uh, units that you have on there, and you have the traditional. You know you have the different steps. So when this unit takes a loss, it'll go to step two. So you'll rotate the block and then it'll rotate to one. And when that takes a loss, it's out. You also have uh, letters on there. Uh, typically in these games, uh, A is better. They go first and then all the A's uh, roll for their attacks. And if they eliminate units, then so be it. Uh, if you were a B or C, then you don't get to go. Uh, then B's go, then C's go. Um, and then the number is usually the number you need to roll to hit that or uh, that or lower. So that's typical of the game. I guess that blue block is for uh, Cleopatra. I think she can go to both sides possibly. Then you also have the rules in here, and then we have this box out of the way. Then we have a, a little bit of a, a little bit of a catalog from them. It's always kind of nice. So they get the rules here. The rules are not very long. They're eight pages. So, and it's not even full eight pages. So you're, you're looking at about seven pages. It's a triple column, uh, not too dense. And you actually have some, looks like some setup here, possibly. So that's for deployment. Get a little bit of color in here, going over stuff. So again, I mean, you're seven pages of rules. This is not super complex. And if you've played one of their block games or a couple of their block games, you're probably gonna be know how to get into this. Let's look inside the map here. These fold out a little bit interesting in that they kind of have a split down the middle, but they're all still connected. So there's your map. Um, might wanna put this under uh, you can fold it a little bit because it's just poster board, but you might want to put this under plexiglass if you have some. But it's a point-to-point -point type map. You'll put the blocks on and then they'll, they'll move to different areas here. But that is, if you can get a little bit more of the map here. Let me do it this way. Here you go. See a little bit of top of the map here. And you got Rome in the middle. 
So that, and then you have your turn track over here. So there you have it. That is the map. That is the rules. This is the stickers. I'm not a fan of stickers, but I mean, they're kind of essential for a block game. Uh, I don't know of any that you'll emboss or engrave their blocks uh, automatically. Uh, commanding colors, all the all the traditional block games, uh, you know, usually have stickers on that. And I've got some stickering to do. Uh, let's take a look at the cards real quick here while I have some time. Uh, this game is, uh, I've got several of the Columbia block games. Actually, I have a video going over uh, Columbia games. Uh, but uh, this one has gotten a lot of good press. It's 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 right up there as one of their better games. And I really don't have a great game on this. I have an old Victory Point Games uh, XL, I believe, that uh, covered the Civil War. But I wanted to get something that has a little bit a little bit more crunch to it. Again, this is a block game, not not super crunchy, but... Want to give a little bit more feel for the period. So you're going to have your cards. These are your command cards that are going to give you, based on the number and on the uh, the circles here, they affect your like movement and reinforcements or commands and reinforcements that you that you're going to get in a turn. And then there's also some cards that have text that are kind of like event cards that you can play and uh, do stuff a little bit different. And of course, they're based on the uh, Roman. Uh, gods that were kind of appropriated from the Greek gods and then um, so you have some event cards but these are mainly the heart of it where you're, you're issuing your commands and reinforcements so that is what you get in a box of Julius Caesar so I hope this was helpful clear there uh, if you like please like hit the like button hit the um, if you want to see more, please subscribe and hit the bell so you know when stuff's coming out. What's your comments? What do you think about this as far as block games go? Do you like Columbia block games? Do you like the point-to-point? -point? Do you like the hex? Do you like the area? Do you not like blocks at all? Uh, they do add the element of fog of war uh, and being able to do steps without multiple counters and step losses without multiple counters. So there's some, there's some you know, um, benefits to, to block games. Uh, what are your thoughts? Start a discussion. Love to see it. But most importantly, thanks for watching.